hopefully it's actually recording. It looks like it is. Hello and welcome to episode 111 of Madhouse Militia Presents Redeeming Tickets for the Throat Punching Competition. This was recorded on May 24th and 25th of 2024. We wish to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go, such as Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com, of which we use his Mumble server every Friday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, at RogueServer.com forward slash AKSBA. Dragomir for the Corndown at Corndown.com, which is the show that precedes ours at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, at RogueServer.com forward slash Dragomir or Corndown.com. We also wish to thank our patrons, such as Clusritz, Experts, Brian N., Mig Chungus, Jayad, Ryan T., Travis B., Goldrust, Gordo, Parkman, Crispy808, MST3Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Phone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts 666, Jesus Penus, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for helping support the show. Be sure to check out on our Patreon the 1,000 plus prank call package best of 2022 available as a product on our Patreon page. We also have a sound bites package on there as well. If you'd like to find out more about the show, you can visit us at immoralhole.com. You can check out our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can check out our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. Our YouTube is at Madhouse Militia, and our TikTok is at Immoral Hole. If you wish to contribute to the show through other means other than Patreon, we have a page set up at immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Oh, man. Hi, thank you for calling Quality Inn in Parker, Arizona. This is Caitlin. How can I help you? There's a man outside. There's a man outside? Yeah, milkman's outside. He says that he has the milk in the van. Yeah. I, I, well, we don't use milk does, here. Does he so work for you maybe, guys? No, I don't know. We buy our own milk from the store. He has one of your guys' shirts on. Yeah. Where is I'm he at? With my taco. He's right there in the van with no windows, the all-white van with no windows. Yeah. It's an old reconditioned taco truck. Hmm. I got me... old tacos in here. He's got um, he's a half and half, 2%, oat milk, mm-hmm. goat milk, butt milk, heavy cream. Butt mm-hmm. milk? Dang. Yeah. He's got the good stuff. Uh-huh. You know, you guys had me in the first yeah, half, not going to lie. I was looking for a taco truck parked in my parking lot. So thanks for the laugh. You guys have a good day. Wait, you don't want any butt milk? Yeah. I'll... And I burned Grand 900 Forks calories. In. Hello, Grand Forks Inn. Hello. Yeah. Hi there. I can hardly hear you, but what can I do for you? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a little bit hoarse. My son, please, Daddy. Hello? Uh, hi there. What can I do for you? Sorry, that's my grandpa. He, he gets on drugs and he sometimes calls random numbers. Who am I speaking to? Uh, this is Jenny at the Grand Forks Inn. Yeah, he used to stay there about 40 years ago during, um, what was it, the Cold War? They would station him out there because they didn't want him to. They they didn't want him to be part of the brigade because he smelled like butt milk, and they would throw his ass over there just because they didn't want him part of the front lines. He stunk like shit too much. All oh, right. Well, oh. sorry to hear that, and uh, have a good rest oh. of your day. So he <laughs> ends up. Question oh. drawler. Ghost. Hello. 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 Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Uh, no, not really. The phone's cutting in and out. Oh, God damn it. They've run it again. They've run it up to the flagpole once more. Take me down to the the ground, old son. Hello. Hello. Oh, Father. 
Thanks for calling Holiday Inn Express. Hey, so this is Lisa. How can I help you? Hello? Whoa, what's that noise? Hello? How can I help you? What's that noise? I can't hear you that good. What's that noise? Uh, the phone lines may be bad, but I can hear you. You can hear me? Yes. Can you hear this? Hello? Hello? Well, what can I do for you? Hmm? How can I help you? Uh, milkman's right here. He wanted some butt milk. <laughs> I like a gallon. Thanks for calling. Hello. Yep. Hello. Hello. How can I help Hello. you? Yes, sir. Uh, my my grandson is looking for me. Has he showed up there? Um, no, I don't believe so. Uh. You know what he's driving? Uh, I I don't know. Let me ask his brother, uh, Axel. Are you here? for calling Hardy's. What? Hi, Hardy's. How you doing tonight? Ooh. Hello. Hello? Hi. I was wondering if you had eggs with heat. Have what? Eggs, honey. No. Oh, what? What happened? Uh, we don't do eggs for dinner. Oh, that makes sense. What do you do for dinner? Is it burgers and, and fries? Yep. Oh, okay. Uh, can I get a burger with heat? North Korean, who... how can I help you? Hi, yeah, there's a guy here who taxidermies animals, and his wife, who's kind of like kind of crazy... And she's got, like, you know, her eyes are bulging out, and she's wearing, like, a bandana. And, like, she's Where? very intense. And, like, Where is he's... It? Oh, he's out here. He's, like, he's by the car, by the window okay. here. And he's, get, he's like, he's he's talking about how he's going to, like, you know, he's going to stuff the animals, you know? He's going to take the goose that's, like, by his car over there, like a seagull thing. He's going to oh. take it, and he's going to take it, he's going to take its head off. What? And he's going to, like... Yeah, he's gonna. He says he's gonna stuff. It. He's gonna put it on his mantelpiece. And he's gonna say it's gonna. It's gonna be like how he remembers. So cool. Oh, here, yeah, dude, you can't do that. I'm on the phone with them here. You can't. You can't. Okay, where are you at? I don't know. No. Yeah, no, I, I'm calling them because I just want to make sure, like, you can do that because you know that seagull might be their property. Oh, hey, fuck this seagull, fool! Give me the phone, fool! Hey, no. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Who's we talking to? Uh, this is North Shore. The hotel. Okay, so why is this one on the phone with you? Why is he t- talking to you about me? It's all of a sudden my business now. Sir, where are you? I'm right here in the in the parking lot with this fool. He was trying to stop me from taxidermy. I ain't gonna do that shit. Okay, shit, I ain't gonna let no one stop me, fool. Okay. Okay. Who are you? Why are you on the phone with this fool? Why is he talking about me? Get this fool off the fucking phone, dog. Mm. Now, the AI animation stuff on the. Hello? Hello, this is for Legs on Set. Hi, yeah, I was wondering about getting a horse over here for the, the, uh, the, 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 um, we're doing a, a demonstration. 
about what not to yes. do when you're wearing safety goggles. And uh, we have a production piece uh-huh. where, uh, you know, a man, he uh, he's, he's looking at the horse as it's mm-hmm. running towards mm-hmm. him. But we don't need them, you know, the two people or the animal and the <laughs> man to be in the same scene at the same time. We can shoot it, you know, mm-hmm. just... Just watching, watching the horse as it goes, you know, the horse machine as it goes, as it moves. We just want to make sure we can get the yeah. horse machine perfectly, you know, in line. And it's just a straight line. We're talking like 10, 11 feet maximum. What do you think about that? Okay. What is your name? <laughs> oh, it's Frankie. Hi. Frankie. Hi. This is Carlotta. Uh, the owner of Four Legs on Set. Uh, where city? What city are we talking about? Well, we're not sure where we're shooting yet. We just we're you know we're, we're uh, scouting things out. We want to make sure we have uh, you know the right people. So where? I don't have horses all over the world, but I want to make sure. Oh I yeah, can yeah, help yeah. You it'll be yeah, it'll, it'll be now. nearby. It'll be in the it'll be in the hills mainly. Where? What city? Uh, over in Rimrock. In California. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just over okay, the hill there. Sorry. Yeah. I don't know the the number. Yeah, we got a private Seattle. ranch. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm talent, so I, I'm scout talent scouting. And I I do the uh-huh. uh, you know that sort yeah. of work, but I'm I'm here in Seattle. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no problem. Okay, so in order to help you, I would yeah. like to know what type of horse uh, you would have in mind. Oh, uh, just a big horse, like a big uh, horse that's got a big, you know. You know, a big um Yeah. Uh yeah. black, white. Oh, I don't know. It, black, it can be, you know, whatever. Yeah, this horse got a okay. big old, you know, what Yeah, he's it's gotta have a big one on it, you know? 'Cause it's it's the horse brand. Um <clears throat> Yeah, we're we're trying to highlight uh that our horse feed yeah. it um yeah, yeah it, it it makes the you're, animal you're larger. Doing a commercial for Oh, horse I see feed. what you think. Yeah. Uh uh-huh. horse feed, yeah. Okay, so yeah. I we are you Damn. we have a okay. horse is so, big right there. Full, look at it, full. Yeah, look at that thing. Excuse me? Sorry? Yeah, we're we're actually looking at horses right now. We're at a we're at a ranch right now. We're we're looking at them. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I don't know honestly. Uh maybe you can tell me how many hours what the horse needs to do. Oh, it probably wouldn't be uh, more than uh, two hours. That's what we're blocked for, uh for that sh- for that scene, for that shoot, and um, okay. yeah, it would be what the probably, action is. The, oh, the, the horse, action, what is he doing? Yeah, the horse has a big uh, member, and it sees a big box of horse chow, and it mm-hmm. rushes towards it, and then mm-hmm. you know the camera it focuses in on the fact that it's uh, that the food's making the horse have um, engorgement. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Are so, old. sorry. Yeah, it's it's for uh, it's for you know improving studs. We want to improve the studs' oh. ability. Okay. Yeah. Okay, no problem. I have two types of stallions, and uh, so one would be black, and or one would be white. They're both uh, big uh, horses, and they're both stallions. I have different oh, yeah. horses, obviously, but uh, you know, but I don't know what. Um, well, which one's the biggest what, horse machine you got? Would you be? What is that machine? What is the machine? What oh, is that the mean? horse machine? Like you know, it's it's a it's a creature that does work, so therefore it's basically a machine. I mean, if you you know, a computer's a machine. It's a machine that has uh, you know electric, a battery, and it, it does okay. things, and it's a machine. So the horse is a machine. I have a I have an idea. You send me an email at fourlegsonset@gmail.com. I will review what is your concept and I will let you know if I can help you. Okay, that sounds perfect. All right. Go. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. Have a great day. Bye bye. Mm-hmm. All right. Thank Bye-bye. you. Bye. I'll show you hey, pictures. Well, can I touch the horse? Yeah. Thank you for calling the Super Eight in the Cat City, uh, Arizona. If you know your guest room oh, number, please okay. dial it now. We're calling about the, uh, the human, human stable. Cat, one will be with you shortly. Human stable lady. No, 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 no. Somebody's going to take this. No, no. Oh, no, no, no. Super 8, like have a Hey, uh, there's a big-ass horse in the front. 
horse. Uh, yeah, there's a horse machine right here. Uh, I was wondering how much it would be to ride it. Super 8, Lake Avisu. Hey, why'd you up on me, fat ass? Excuse me? I hang up on you again. You heard, you heard me? Yeah, do it. You're a bitch if you do it. I'm hungry. Thank you for calling the Quality Inn. How can I help you? Hello? There's a horse. I want to touch the taco. Give me the horse. Hello? Hi, can you hear me? There's a horse right here. Um, we were wondering how much it would be to ride it. Uh, wh what do you mean? Uh, there's a guy in one of the rooms and he has a horse in there. He like took a horse in there. It's like a little baby pony. And um, I'm giving it carrots. Okay. Are you being serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's in the room. We just wanted to know because the guy's not here, but the the door's open. How much would it be to ride the horse? What room is it? The big room, the extra big room that like opens to the other one. Um. Yeah, I don't know anything about that, honestly. Can you ask your like coworker or something? We just want to ride the little pony. Oh, hold on. Heat Hotel, my name is Michael. How can I help you? Yes, hello. This is the Heat Wave Man. How are you doing tonight? Good yourself? Yes, I'm perfect. I was wondering if you needed any heat molecules delivered tonight. No. Are you sure? Yeah. I've got a whole bag of them here. All right. Yeah, we're good. I'm coming. Hey, Paul. Holiday in Lake Abasu. All right, I'm trying to find a butt. A butt. It was just, it was, it was a cigarette butt, is what I'm saying. Because it had some special uh, stuff in it. Hello? Oh. Hello? That's a, what's your sweets? <laughs> Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Hello. Nunu eats cow shit. What's that? You heard me. I said Nunu, your brother, eats cow shit. Oh. Are you kind of stupid? Retard. No, that's your This is Sam with Buffalo Subway. How can I help? Hey, um, do you guys have the sandwich that goes? The what? Do you guys have that one sandwich that goes? That one sandwich that grows? Goes. Go, like, goes. I'm sorry, I'm not sure. I know what you mean. He, The guy comes in with his, like, little bag of, um, little bag of hand tools, and he, like, makes the sandwich go. I, I, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. I don't think so. Is there someone else I can speak to? Sure. Uh, hold on one second. Cause you're... All right, hurry up. All right, hurry up. Hello? Yeah, what's wrong with that guy? He doesn't know what I'm talking about? Apparently. What is it you're talking about? I want the sandwich that goes. The sandwich that grows? Go, 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 goes, goes, G O E S. Yeah. Yes. Um. 
I'm not certain I know what you're talking about. Could you specify a bit more? Yeah, there's a guy, he comes with a little hand, like a little bag, and he starts using hand tools on the sandwich and he makes it go. Come again. This this oven's really left hand. Let me move. Um, so like he has like a little hammer and like a little drill, and he starts using it on the sandwich and he makes it go. Um. What's on the sandwich, sir? It's like a bunch of like, um, like, I think like pork and like sausage. Pork and sausage? Uh, the closest thing we have to that is the BM. And like, does it go? Like go hard? Like, do, like, does it taste good? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Sure. Yeah. We we're, we're, we close at eight though. So like, try again tomorrow maybe. Fuck. Um. Uh, talk to my brother Elasma. Your. Talk to your brother. Hello. Hello. Have you got Elasma, the sandwich? Elasma, these They don't have the sandwich. Well, what happened to it? They said the sandwich goes hard. No, the sandwich just has to go. What kind of prank call is this? This ain't a prank call. We just need a sandwich to take uh, and go. It needs to go. We just want to come get the sandwich and go, fool. We close at 8, maybe tomorrow. With a toasted bread. Are you going to be there, fool? Call again tomorrow. Are you going to be there or not? <laughs> Toast my yeah. bread. Damn it. He's going to be there. <laughs> I'm going to fucking be there. <laughs> I w- Hi. Uh, before I came down there and like placed order everything, I was wondering if I could get like an attitude check. Like before, you know, before I came down. Are you calling for a takeout order, or are you coming down to eat dinner? I'm going to come down and eat there and eat some dinner there, but I want to, before I came down there and placed right, my order and everything. in about 10 minutes. What? Okay? what? If you can make so it, I mean, in like, minutes, is it, is, in 10 minutes. So that's going to be like a bad attitude then, if I come in within 10 minutes? Well, is if that, you don't get here within ten minutes, the I mean, door's going to be locked, so you can't get it. I'm asking so I'm what the, no, I didn't ask the eat, time. You can, I didn't ask the time or anything, though. I just asked about attitude. And Occidental Hotel? Occidental Hotel? Hello? 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 Oh, hi. Hello, yeah, my Occidental. phone is being weird. Oh, no. okay. Uh, no, before I came... Yeah, I'm sorry. Before I come down there, I was just wondering um, like, what the attitude was. Uh, at the front desk right now. What the what? What? The like the attitude, not... like the attitude level, I guess. Like, like an like an, an attitude. attitude. I'm trying to do like an attitude check. Yeah, like an attitude check. Oh, okay. What kind of attitude we got? Is there? Good. You have a good. I mean, are you checking uh, in? Yeah, but I mean, I had to kind of coax this out of you, so I mean, I'm gonna have to write that down. Okay. Like you're not, you're just not being upfront with, you know. I'm just ask, you know, asking. What the attitude Hello? is. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I'm. Hey, brothers. How can I help you? Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Hi. How can I help you? I was in there earlier and I had a problem. You have a problem? Yeah. Hello? With yes, what? can you hear me? So it was with my... I was in there and I was having like a meal. Uh-huh. And I, it just was like not what I was expecting because like I'm from Germany and it was my first time here in America. Uh-huh. And so like I was... I was talking to the server and I was like, this tastes bad. This is very bad food and it's not good at all. And what, wanting what like a refund. What day, or what day and what time did you come in? Well, it, it was like two hours earlier. Two hours? I don't think that's true because I was here. Um, well, I'm not sure if you're not taking care of everyone. You're not the only one working there. Uh, let me ask my... Uh, Hold on. I don't know what's happening. What did you order? What? It, it doesn't matter. It was a bunch of shit. It was like a whole pile of shiza, basically, because it was awful. I thought I fucked. Caught a... It was like... Hello, Benny Hello? Hello? Yes, Benny Hi, I, had an I, had, I had an interaction with uh, uh, somebody outside the, the restaurant. Hello? Yeah, this is a restaurant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, somebody was outside. They were going to pee in the restaurant and I stopped them. Oh, that's you very understand? nice of you. Okay. Uh, well, I, uh, they, they, I, I stopped him because I gave him like a bottle to pee in. So now I got this bottle of pee. Can I just go <laughs> and give it to you? <laughs> can I just give it to you now? So you can like dump oh, it down the sink or something? Yeah, no problem. I'll give you something. I, just, I don't have a cap. I don't have a cap I'll on give it to you. If I bring you a bottle yeah. of pee, you'll give me something? No, you don't have to give me pee, but I'll be happy to give you some chow mein. Okay, yeah, man. All right. No, no, I got a bottle of pee. I want you to get rid of it. I understand. I I know you you. Uh, okay. You pour yeah, it down the, the the drain. You pour yeah, it down yeah. the drain. It's something. It's on yeah. the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why don't you do like? Hello. Uh, what can I say, young man? Are you gonna take this bottle? Hello. Yeah. Stop by any time. You want some food? I give to you. Okay. All right. For the bottle, uh, I have to, you have to take. Guest services, how can I help you? Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Um. We got. Uh. I got a one. One thing. How's your attitude down there? I need to. Attitude? I need to know. Yeah. Your attitude. What do you mean? Like, how are you doing tonight? Is everything okay? Like, if I come down there, I have a problem. Like, is it okay, or would it be a bad, you know, a bad situation? Like, should I hold back and and wait until morning? Would that be better? Oh, I I'm not sure what why you're asking. I that. just uh, I just want to know what your attitude is like. Well, we're pretty friendly, I'd say. Okay, but right now, like, your attitude's all right? Like, if I come down there and have yeah. a situation, a problem, like, you'll be all right? It won't, like, it won't make you hysterical well, you or anything? Well, I don't know. I, I, not necessarily. I mean, I just, I'm just just checking to make sure, you know, in case I do, in fact, have a situation, you know? Because it could happen. It could happen to anyone. I just want to make sure, you know, everything's okay down there. So if there is a situation, like, it's not a big situation. It's just a little one, you know. I, I, uh, I'll explain. I, I spilled a little bit of fish, uh, oil on the, on the bed sheet. Uh, it smells to hell, high hell in here. I just wanted to check on your attitude before I let you know about that. Hello. Hi. Well, who's this? 
What room are you in? Oh, I'm in the bathroom right now. I'm trying to clean the, the fish oil out. I just wanted to make sure, you know, it was uh, cleaned up before you guys got here and took me away. Oh. Yeah. This hasn't happened before. I've never had the fish oil problem. I had a bathroom toaster incident once. But, you know, you know, there's a reason why they make the cords not that long. You know? No. That doesn't oh, make any well. sense. No, it does. It's because people like to throw the toasters into bathtubs, and, you know, that's not good. Oh, are you, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why. That's why I like the, the cord on, like, a hair dryer short, too. Huh. It's for that's, harm that's reduction. That's pretty odd. That doesn't make any sense. It, it does make sense, though. That's what they do, yeah. Okay, I'm, oh. I'm going to give my brother the phone because I, I don't know what good you are. Your attitude's pretty bad. From my, oh, I'm my, sorry. Uh, my point of view, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I love you. I'm sorry. I have to go now. There's uh, a... Have, have a good night. There's a squirrel I have to <laughs> handle. Well, that sounds tricky. He's handling a squirrel. Hello. He hasn't hung up yet. Ma'am. No, I'm yes, sorry. I sound different now, though, huh? Well, it's a different I was person. Um, maybe. Could you tell me about your childhood? Was it generally happy? Nah. What would you say was the most upsetting part about it? That's a real can of worms. I'm here for you. Hmm. Okay. Well, were your parents divorced? Well, I hope that you have a wonderful night. Wait, no, let's get into you. Come on. No, no. This is a safe base. No, I have to go to back to work. Any brothers or sisters? Twelve. What's your relationship with your father like? Horrid. I bet it's not good. Yeah, I figured. I could hear the issues you know, in your voice. America. How long have you been living yourself? I hope that you have a wonderful night. Hello? Would you break us? How can I help you? Hi, I was wondering about your attitude down there. Uh, Hello? Huh? Yeah, how's your attitude? Hello? Is everything okay? Uh, reading. Hello? Okay. Someone needs an... Thank you for calling the Shoshone Bennett Casino Tell This is your kill. How could I assist you? Hey, how's it going, man? How could I assist you? Hey, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm from Vibe Check LLC. Just want to, I'm just kind of like seeing, you know, like what's, what's kind of the, the attitude down there generally, would you say? Um, so this is the hotel. Are you trying to talk to someone from sure, entertainment? Yeah. Well, really, I'm just trying to get a, like a, a general vibe check. I want to know what the vibe is down there. I, don't know, I just kind of want to know, like, what's the general attitude of people? Are they good? Are they bad? Are they happy? Are they sad? Are they partying? Or, you know, like, what's going on tonight is kind of the thing. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean. I have uh, never you know received what a, you know, this You know question. vibe checks, right? 
I've never received this question before, so I have no idea. That's okay. This is a question you can answer. It can just come straight out of your head. You don't got to know like anything extra. It's totally easy. It's accessible. I just got to know of the place you're in right now, what's the general vibe, ma'am? I don't know if this is a prank or something, but I'm going to transfer you. No, to no, I'm, I know what, well, well, you can do that. That's fine. But I think security is a bunch of pussies personally. Indoor pool and fitness center. Uh, hi, how's it going, man? Uh, I don't know why they transferred me. I was just calling with like a general question because I'm kind of, you know, I'm out here now. I'm like, I'm about to come in and I was just doing like a vibe check. I don't know what's going on. I was, you know, what's the mood? What's the vibe? And she transferred me to security. She literally couldn't answer the bro. Tell me, you know, what's going on. Like, what do you mean when you're outside? Like, you're just, like, outside, like, in the parking lot? Yeah, yeah. Like, we're going to come in. I got my boys. We're going to party, maybe, you know? I'm just trying to see, like, what's the vibe, you know? Like, what's the vibe? That's all I want to know. Yeah, no. I mean, so far, the vibe's pretty good. You know, a lot of people here. Some winning, some losing. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, it's up yeah are we, like, are we, are we, are we jiving? Are we bopping, dude? You know, like, are we, is it chill? Is it lax? Is it, you know, is it tense? Mm. Like, give me, give me vibe specifics. You know what I mean? What frequency this vibe on? Honestly, I would say, uh, we're bopping pretty good. We're bopping pretty good. Oh my God. Uh, yes, dude. We're going to come in then and we'll go, we could definitely bop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Blackjack table, uh, roulette table, and all that. Usually, usually, you know, yeah. pop those. I was popping, dude. Okay, so like, tell me, like, you know, like, are we feeling like what kind of energy though? You know, like, or is it is it like, you know, pre nut confusion? Is it with nut clarity? You know what I mean on the scale of you know no to some nut. You know what I mean? Um. So yeah, I can, like looking for like just like like if it's like good energy like to come in or like. Yeah, I just want to know, like, you, will, you know, you said it's pretty good and you're bopping and that's cool, but I'm just kind of like seeing like what, uh, where on the spectrum, you know what I mean? Is it like, is it like pre-nut, like, oh, you know, like confusion or is it like post-nut clarity and everybody's like on a net, on the higher level, you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, I honestly, I had posted like we're right in between of that. Oh, so we're like thin of bus, you think? Is it thin of bus vibes? Yeah. Oh my god, dude, we're gonna have to come in there and fucking get our party on. We'll bop, we'll fin a bus, dude. I'll I'll bus in those fucking machines, dude. Fuck yeah. Go for it, go for it. Hell yeah, bro. Get up. in here. You know, they said you yeah, it's cool. You bring your own beer, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty cool. They they said they're bopping, dude. They said it's fucking fin a bus, you know what I mean? It's not pre nut, it's it's not it's fin fucking bus, fella. Yeah. Do you hear my boy Milkman getting fucking excited, right? <laughs> Yeah. We're going to tear it up tonight. We're literally going to tear it up tonight, bro. Hey, that's totally fine by me. I'm going to fucking cut a rug, dude. I'm going to tear the floor. Now, well, like, tell me, like, what's the vibe of the chicks, though? Cannot tell you. I'm security, so I can tell you that. <laughs> well, I mean, you're security, man. You can make up like any reason to get out. You know, you just get up, just walk past a chick. You, when you're walking past, like before you walk out there, just when you're walking by, just like, yeah, on the radio saying something super fucking official. And then, like, fucking be like, sup. Do you have to fucking sup them, bro? If you sup these bitch, I bet, dude, security, power of authority, dude. I'm going to come in there. We'll fucking fit. What's your name, dude? <laughs> I, but I go by Jake. All right, I'm going to come in there, dude. I'm going to go in for Jay. I'm going to be like, yo, where's Jay? When you see my boy, we're in a fist bump, dude. We're going to pull these fucking ladies tonight, bruh. <laughs> I'm just going to let you know right now, though, the only place you can drink is at the bar. Everybody that's fine. That's fine. I mean, you know, I always got my pocket flask on me, dude. We're going to fucking tear it up, dude. We're going to fucking tear the floor. We're going to fucking cut a rug, bro. Fucking, I'm going to poop in the ice maker, even. I'm like, I don't, you know what I mean? I'm fucking, <laughs> we're crazy, bro. All right, all right, man. Now listen, but we didn't hear, bro. Like no homo. The ladies don't work out, oh, man. You know, like oh, good, you sound like a pretty chill, dude. Good. I'll suck your dick or whatever. You're good, man. 
No, no, I'll be out there. So if you just come in. All right, man. Yeah, I'm, it's, dude, I'll be looking out for Patrick Atz, dude. I'm wearing a red hat. You just look out for me, dude. Just fucking, we do. I'll be looking out for you, dude, with a straight stiffy, bro. You got me so excited. I'm coming in tonight. We're coming in. <laughs> Boys, pack it in. We're going in. All right, man. Remember, security J, dude, buy him some drinks and straight up, we don't pull any ladies. We're going to suck his dick. You know what? <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. All right, we'll see you, bud. All right, have a good one. Sheesh. What the fuck happened? No, one ticket. Thank you for calling the Black Swan. How can I Hello? help you? Yeah, I only got one ticket. One ticket for the ride. Uh, I was told this was where I was to call because I only got one ticket and you guys were selling the other ticket. You know, the ride that goes down the hill uh, and up around on the train tracks. They said you, you, had, you were the ticket office. Uh-huh. Is this not the ticket office for the choo-choo train? Hello. Hello. <clears throat> Stop. Oh, oh, fuck. Hello. Oh shit. Hello. Oh. Grand security. Hello. Grand security. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Grand are you guys security. Doing the ones the do. Are you doing the ticket checks? Uh, are you checking what? the tickets? Are you checking the tickets? Checking what? Checking what tickets? The tickets. The t- do you need to scan them or something? Who checks the tickets? I'm not Someone sure. Someone's got to check the tickets. There's, they gave me all these phone numbers and everything, and I'm trying to get my ticket checked. I don't want to get in trouble, so just would you... Do I just read the number off to you, or do you have to come scan it? Like, what do you got to do? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Are you talking Hello? about, like, Can, the prizes? The ticket. I got my ticket. No, I got my ticket here for it. It says admit one. I want to. Can, can I just read you the number? You're calling the wrong number, bro. What do you mean? I, they call me all these numbers, everything. Just can, can I verify with somebody here? Come on. I don't have nobody here to verify anything, and we don't do tickets. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. We're a hotel. No, the ticket. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what you're talking about. If you want to call back between the hours of 9 a.m. and 5 p.m., you can probably talk to somebody then. What do you mean? No, 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 no. I just want to give you the number. Okay, sir, you're wasting my time. I'm going to hang up on you because I have other you're calls coming You're wasting my time. 5327862. Check it, you asshole. Where the fuck? Dog, what's happening? Dog, what's happening? H- Hello? Hi. Hi. Uh, do you guys have do you guys have any place for like customers to dump like extra uh, like fluids? I am so sorry. You cut out. Say that one more time. Like a place for customers to dump like extra fluids. No, I think you're looking for Dogwood Campground. This is actually the bar. Right. I'm at, yeah, at the bar. No. So we're not related to the campground at all, actually. But do you have anywhere to like dump fluids, though? No, not at not at this bar. You would have to call the Dogwood Campground. I'm not at the campground, though. I mean, I we were at the bar, and now we got like. Can, is there anywhere we can dump any of this? Like, we have several barrels. Barrels of what? Like fluids. Like it's waste fluid. No, definitely not at the bar. Um. I don't know where you would dump fluid. You could dump it in the sink or something. I mean, depending on what it is, I just can't bring, like, outside stuff behind the bar to dump it in my sink. Well, I mean, mean, just like the sanitary sink. You Um, just dump it down that, and then you can, like, rinse it. You can just do, like, a rinse. If it's, like, water, yes, I could definitely do that. It has water in it. But we'll spray it out. I mean, we'll can... Do you have a garbage disposal? Uh, we do not have a garbage disposal, no. Um, like a plunger? 
I can we don't take, have a plunger, just in case. No. But you're breaking out. Can if you hear I me? Bring a, I can bring a plunger. <laughs> you're breaking out. I got to get off this. Thank you for calling Moto6 on Sneaker. This is Pat. Let me help you. Hi, I found an eclair in the room. And, um... <clears throat> It doesn't taste anything like anything I've ever had. Um, it was you don't sealed. Like food in the rooms. Thank you for calling Moto Six and Sneaker. This is Pat, and I'll help you. Yeah, I lost my whole dang old. Like, I lost my whole food stash in my room. There's another guy in there, and he's locked me out. Okay, so yeah. Literally the biggest call. I've ever been. Hello? Hi. Hello? Uh. Hello? Hi, this is Danny at the front desk of the Comfort Suites. How can I help you today? Hi, yeah, I got a ticket here. I was wondering if you uh, validated them here. Um, We, we don't have um, requirements for our parking, so there's no need for validation. Oh, yeah, no, the ticket that a guy handed me, he handed me, he was right at the front door here, <clears throat> and I don't he, he have handed any me the ticket, working tonight. he said I got I think, a... I think you're looking for a different location, I hope you have a good rest Oh, no, 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 it, it's your location, you're stupid. Thank you for calling Southwest, could you please hold? No, the toilet... No. Hello? Okay, what's going There's on? There's a problem with the toilet... There's a problem with the toilet. Listen. Do you okay, hear that? What room are you in? Yeah. All right. Yeah, two fifteen. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you hear. I'm gonna flush it again. Ready? Wait. What What room are you? Did you hear that? Uh huh. What room 215? are you in? Two fifteen. Two fifteen. I'm gonna. You need to call the best yeah, hold on. I'm gonna... Cotton Tree. That's the best Western what? Plus. We don't have a we don't have a room 250. Well, don't you guys all work you for the, the same company? We do work for the same company. I can't do anything at this location. You're not at the that, same location. That's a, it, it's like a buzzer sound. Like I'm doing something wrong on the toilet. Okay. Well, you're not at our location. I can give you the phone number for the location you might be at. Does that, or does just that dial sound the mean that it? Call, dial the number to call the front desk. Oh. oh. Does that? Places and some places not. Hello. Well, it's OS. Hi. Are you getting time and a half this weekend or no? Sorry. What was that? Time and a half. Here, let me put my brother on. I'm 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 incapacitated with the phone. Hello. Hello. Hi, I'm trying to use the toilet in the room, but I think it's rejecting what's coming out of me. Listen, it's like a buzzer. Hey, Falloon, Smith Idaho Falls. This is Kylie. Do you mind if I put you on a quick hold? Uh, we have a powerful stream occurring uh, in the trousers. You know, you're just wondering where we can go when we get there. It's a powerful stream. Yeah, let, let me put you on a quick hold. I'll be right with you. Uh, it's a powerful stream. Oh boy. Uh, the stream is creamy. There's a powerful the stream, stream is creamy. Creamy. Oh. oh. It's a powerful stream of cream. Grateful doing sweet side of Whole Falls. This is Kylie. Do you mind if I put you on a quick hold? No, it holds for bitches, man. I don't do that. Listen, I just want to let you guys know while you're aware of a situation. How oh, can I help you? you? Yeah, do you guys know that you got peaches in here? This bitch is, you know what peaches is, right? Aww, uh, I was going to use that as a reason. Candlewood Sweets in Idaho Falls. Hello. Hello? Hi, I don't want to alarm you, but there is blood. But I just, I guess, I, I got to tell you something. Goodbye. There is. Well, it seems like no nonsense. Thank you for calling the radio recorded. Hello? Thank you for calling the radio recorded. Hi, this is Uber Eats. I have a delivery for one of the guests there. Okay. 
And how many? Yeah, have? Um, it's a sh- it, it's a shop and pay. Um, they they had me go to uh, uh, Spencer's Gifts. Okay. And I have a uh, yeah, I have like toys for adults or something, and I need to drop them off. Okay. Did they give you yeah, the road number or the last name? Yeah. The room is 215. Can't give me one second. I'm a little gay boy. He's a little gay boy from a gay family. Okay, Renato, I don't have anybody in that room. Oh, then what happened? I'm not too sure, unless you have another one. What, what do I do with the analies and the dildos? Like, what do I do with them? I guess return them. Yeah. I'm Could I sure. use them on you? I don't no, know. sir. Oh, come on. Don't be hard to get. Don't play that. Okay, did one you can just sing back to him? Hope guys like, go ahead, help me help Hello? Is Bethany there? Uh, no, Bethany. but here is named by Bethany. I think you have the wrong number. This is a restaurant. What about Chris? No, no, no. I know who. It, I know this restaurant. Is there Chris there? Chris? In the restaurant. Yeah. He's not here right now. Well, do you know when he'll be back? Do you know when he'll be back? What was your name? Oh, what Chris are you looking for? Uh, my name is Gordo. Gordo, but no, that's not Chris. No, that's his name. Oh, do you know what Chris you're looking for? Because there's multiple Chris's that work here. Chris Anthony Mom. Chris Anthony Mom. Hi, can I help you? Hello. Hey, where's Chris at, fool? Hello. Um, hi. Okay, can I ask the last name of the Chris you're looking for, please? I don't know his last name, but his his like username is Phantom. Can you give me his appearance, please? He's kind of he's like probably like five ten. He's a little bit light skinned kind of Mexican pool. Okay. Does he or does he not have long hair? Kind of, not really. It's like kind of long. All right. So we actually do not have a Chris here that is going by the. Um, but you are regarding uh, as of look. We do have one Chris here. He has extremely long hair, a beard, around 5'11". But besides that, we don't have any other Chris. Well, what do you consider long? It, like, it's to his shoulders. No, ours is down past his kneecaps. Or past his... What the down fuck? Down to his knees. So, yeah, I'm sorry. The That's kind of gay, you... isn't it? Sir, you have a nice night. Bye, thank you. Excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> Thank you for calling Birch Blend Lodge. This is Eva. How may I help you? Hello, Eva. Hello. Yes, thank you for calling Birch Blend Lodge. This is Eva. How may I help you? Yeah, uh, there's this guy here. He says he works here. And he, he's, his name is Taco Man. And he asked me to get in this truck. And I didn't know. Does he work or this taco man? Mm. The taco man work for you? May I have your name, please? Hello? Yeah, this is Charlie. Charles Brown. Mm -hmm. May I have your phone number? Hello, I am the taco man. Hello? I do apologize. I feel like this would be a prank call. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the call now. Wow. Thank you. They, no, you're not no. taking take me. No matter what season you come, it's always good to be at Pinehurst. Please leave your message. Oh, and we'll no, man, back we need to the... Thank uh, you. God bless. Every time that shit feels good. Yeah. Felt good. Don't know. Oh. Anytime you come, anytime you come, it always feels good. Come on down. Come inside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
No, on the, on the bone. Mm-hmm. Anytime you, you come on read? in, you're coming inside, baby. Come on, come mm-hmm. on inside. Come. You, you ever ejaculate in freezing mm-hmm. weather and it freezes to the tip of your penis? Gotcha. Mm-hmm. What kind of garden do you get? Good evening, Sir Water Twelve Motel. Man? This is Cheryl. How can I help you? Cheryl. Cheryl. Yes. There's a man here named Ed who's selling tacos out front. Um, no, can that's I get not you my one? name. That's, that's okay. not my name. My name is Carne Asada. Well, this is Clearwater Twelve. Do you want tacos or something? not? I don't have. I and didn't I order you any talk? tacos. I, I just came out front. Look, my my family. I try to support my family. I need you to buy some tacos. I don't have any money. Can you just hook this guy up with like. Well, no, I'm out here and I'm staying in the in one of the rooms, and I was just uh-huh. wondering if I can bring you some. Sure, I don't no. have any money. I have to pay the rent, and so I need you to buy about one thousand tacos, please. Um, what kind what kind of meat do you want? Like carne asada, anything. pollo, or alpha store? Not anything. Okay. Do you, um, you get it? Do you get it with cilantro and onions? That sounds good. So okay, cool. I put you I put you for one thousand taco. Yeah, give me a bunch of tacos. I'm gonna take them to the. No, ladies. she gonna she gonna buy. I don't have money to buy. Oh no no. She cannot it's buy, one, man, so I'll do it for it's her. A dollar, it's a dollar menu. Dollar menu. One dollar. Oh, I have one dollar, so I can buy one taco. I have no, one dollar, okay, so I'll buy you, one taco. I'm, I got a big check, and I worked overtime, so I don't mind um, getting your tacos for you. Okay. Okay, so I want three tacos. Um, I'll put store with no cebolla for the lady, Okay. Okay. He must be from the taco wagon. Oh, why do you mean well, the wagon? You know I got a wagon? push got cart. A push what are you cart. talking about? Oh, you got a push cart? You're not with the you're not with the uh, taco wagon down here. Well, who? Is, is I have a competition? Uh, yeah, there's a there's a a uh, a trailer just down the street here by Beer Thirty. They sell tacos. Oh no, I need to go somewhere else. I didn't know he was stealing all my business. Now, how long have you been around here selling? Oh, I start uh, I've been here a long time, but I wasn't selling tacos. I was selling pillows. Oh, yeah, he started a uh a trailer down here. You know where Annie's lunchbox is? Just the down Annie, the street. Annie lunchbox? Hmm? Yeah, uh-huh. the uh there's this coffee shop that's just down the street from here, and then Annie's Lunchbox is next to that, and then the tap room, Beer 30, the uh, taco trailer oh is right there. Oh, my God. All these people are just selling food. Uh, how am I going to pay my rent? Right. Can I? Yeah, there's a bunch. There, there's a what bunch of people. What about you there? Can you... Can you add a extra charge on the guest room for tacos? I cannot. It's just a five dollars extra charge, and I give him five tacos to each person. I there. I cannot do that. That's against our rules. Oh no! There's a lot of noise on the line. What are you doing over there? I'm working in my office. Oh, it sounds like somebody's eating tacos. Nope, not here. It's me typing on the typewriter or on the computer. The typewriter. Yeah, I, I have it. Well, I, I call it a typewriter. It's a computer keyboard that I'm typing on. Typewriter. Because I'm here in the office of the motel. Well, does it go tick tick tick? What the tick, 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 tick? 
Yeah, and that could be the mouse that I'm using, too, that's clicking. Or there could be something up with the phone. So do you, what happens when you make a mistake, though? On the computer? How do you? No, on I the typewriter. Practice. The typewriter. Oh, I have an eraser on it. An eraser? No. Yeah, Not it's to called whiteout. White out. Yep. I call that my eraser. You're very old school, you know. In Mexico, we have uh, computers, you know. We have computers here too. It's just I'm writing a book. And I'm doing it on a typewriter. Is it? Oh, so you like you go to the cottage in the woods and you write the uh, horror stories? No, I don't write horror stories. I write real life stories. Oh, like uh, reality TV? Kinda, yeah. What happened? Who got uh, the off one, the island? Oh, I don't write stuff like that. I just write stories about family, about my family. And right now I'm oh, writing. A, yeah, I write about my family. Okay. Does your family, does the story involve taco? Nope. It involves them living on the reservation out in Oklahoma. The reservation? Yeah, the Indian reservation. Like here. This, oh, I have an uh, Indian reservation. I have an Kami Indian I reservation. On, yeah, we're on an Indian reservation here in Kamei. Yeah, I have an Indian reservation. Uh, there's a restaurant called the Tandori Raj. I uh -huh. made an Indian reservation there, and I had the uh, alu palak and the palak paneer and the uh, tikka. Paneer tikka masala. Well, I got to get off the line. I got uh, another call coming in. Oh, is okay, it your publisher? Okay, we'll see you later, okay? Okay. Is it, Bye. Is it your publisher? Um, we'll call and talk another time, okay? Because it was really fun okay. talking to you. And we're lonely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I yeah. got another call coming in, so I got to go. Okay. okay, we'll talk to you later. Uh-huh. Bye. But Bye. Bye. Hello. Hello. Excuse me? Hello? Hi, it looks like I have missed a call from this number about an hour ago. Who are you? This is Natasha Soroka. Have you tried calling... Maybe um, bed and breakfast by any chance? What? Okay. Uh -huh. Your number is on my caller ID. Oh, really? And it's in so I can tell you right now, my husband. Sorry? Your husband is what? You have sat there and harassed me and harassed me on my show. What? I'm sorry. I have nothing to do with the show. Motherfucker, what the fuck, you punk-ass bitch? Okay. Must be some kind of a mistake. I'm in Grand Forks, BC. I have... I'm sorry if you got offended by somebody, but that wasn't me. Uh -huh. Hello? Hello? Hi, um, hello, I called earlier, but nobody answered. Yes, yes. Um, um, it's okay, I don't, it's okay, I don't need anything anymore, and I want you to have a very good day, okay? Are you having a good day? Oh, thank you, I don't know what it was the reason for your call, but thanks for letting me know that I thought maybe there was something important. Yeah, you have a good day, too. Well, my friend... My my friends are drunk. They're drunk, and they answered my phone, and they're fighting. They're a couple. They're a man and a woman, and they get drunk, oh, and they yell at I each see. other, and sometimes... It wasn't... They're, okay. they're really ugly people. 
They're well, ugly I, people, and they do that on my phone. Ah, uh, well, I hope they have their time, you know, and I hope it sounded like somebody offended them. I, it wasn't me. I did not take it personally, but um, I hope that resolves somehow. But thank you for being nice. It's and, okay. Uh, thank you. You have it's a okay. good evening. They'll make up. Well. Okay, sounds good. Okay, you're a very lovely person, and we'll Aww. talk to you later, okay? Thank you. I, ju- I just und- I understand people get upset sometimes. I know it wasn't personal directed at me because I had no idea what it was about. You have a good night. Thank you. Bye for now. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. He really is. Hotel I've seen him. With my own eyes. Hello, I have a question. Mhm. Me and my Hello? buddies are here having a conversation. I, I need your help really quick, okay? I'm sorry, it'll take two seconds. Me and my buddies were having this conversation. We called the first number we caught on Google. Does height matter to you? Does height matter to you when you're picking someone? No, I've been married for over 20 years. He's perfect size. Okay, but is he taller than you? Yeah, of course. Okay, but would you be with somebody shorter than you? Let's say you and him divorce, would you date a man shorter than you? It wouldn't matter. Really? It wouldn't matter? I don't think so. Why does why do, why the uh, short or tall matter to oh. anybody? That's a little picky, don't you think? It, if the person's got a good heart it, and they're it decent. There's so many people out there in the world that are not decent. If you find someone decent, tall, short, fat, skinny, snag them because you ain't going to get any better. Yeah, that's true. Are you, um, so my friend, he's basically, he was making fun of me. He's like, you're 4'11", you're 4'11", no one's going to love you, kill yourself. And I'm like, dude, like, and we just started Punch this whole conversation and he was, yeah, I'm going to punch him in his balls and kick him in the dick because he's an asshole. <laughs> All right, got to go. Anyway, glad I could help you. Okay. Thank you. All bye. Right, bye. <laughs> bye. It's a great day at the Ramada Inn and Butte. This is Ethan. How may I help you? Hi, is this the Ramada in Butt? Uh, yes, this is the Ramada in Butte. Oh, that's how it's pronounced? I've been saying butt this whole time. Yep, it's butte. I mean, can I just can I just keep, keep calling it butt? Absolutely. You're free, white, and over 18. Okay, you can cool. do what you want. I mean, would it bother you if I call you butt? No. <laughs> okay, Mr. Butt, can I get a room at the butt window? Uh, sure. What are you looking for? When are you planning on being here? A big... I'm going to come there tomorrow and I need a room for my big ass. All right, I'm going to need a credit card number from you. Talk to my boyfriend, Elasma. He's got all that information. All right, then you have a good day. I'll talk to your boyfriend later. No, hold on. Come <laughs> on, oh, is this butt? It's butte. Ramada Pando, you Should I call it a butt? Hello? 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 Front desk. Um, my friends were supposed to talk, but I guess they're busy. Um, we wanted to get a room. I'm completely full. full what about day. tomorrow? I believe I'm full all weekend. Let me check. Keeping her stuffed all weekend, dude. I told you they were going to be full up, dude. I told you they were gaping her. Stop, dude. She's going to hear you and she's going to get mad at me. No, I'm sorry, dude. I just thought, you know, she just sounded so, you know what I mean? Mike, you're sitting on my fucking... But you didn't have an 
Hello. Hello. Yes. Hey, uh, I'm a I'm a trucker and I want to stay there tomorrow, fool. Sorry. I said I'm a trucker, fool, and I want to stay there. So hook it up, dog. Um, um, you can come to the window if you want tomorrow. Well, how much is the room then, fool? Is what I want to know, dog. We're, me and my fucking guy, milkman, we're gonna come tomorrow. We want to stay there, but I had a couple questions. What? <laughs> Like me, fool, I'm a fucking alpha dog. Like, I don't like fucking around. So if you could put me in a room where there's, like, hot-ass girls on both sides, hook it up, fool. I don't want to be around no ugly people. All right, brother, you might want to call across the street then. Why, fool? Are you ugly or what? Yeah, just call the across the street, brother. They will hook What's you your up. name, fool? I'm a vendor looking for you. I'm going to look at your socks, fool. You better have high-ass socks on, fool. You're going to get a sock check. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Bye-bye. You will have you. Hello. Thank you for calling Call Jane. How may I help you today? Hey, you know those fools across the street? The hotel across the street from you? Uh, uh I'm sorry? You know how there's like a hotel kind of around the block across the street? Across the street? Kind of, yeah. Okay, there's a hotel, like, right down there a little bit from you. There's that one hotel. You know what I'm talking about, fool? The Best Western? Yes, the Best Western, fool. And then what was your name? What's your name? Who am I speaking to? Who are you? This is Heck Ramirez, fool, and I'm just calling because that fool over there in the Best Western, he was talking shit about you, dude. He was talking shit about you. Who are you and where are you calling from? I'm sorry, I didn't get you. I'm in the Best Western right now, fool, and I was just here, and I said, I want a room, but I don't want to be around ugly people. And he goes, all right, well, you better stay away from this hotel. And he told me, you, you're hella ugly, fool, and don't go over there. He said, you're ugly, and you're stupid, and you got a big-ass nose, fool. That's what this fool was saying, dog. Are you going to let him talk to you like that? Oh, the people in the best person saying that we got the ugly rooms and that shit? Yeah, fool. And I was like, how are you guys going to talk shit? You don't even know those fools. And he's like, no, I know that fool. That fool's ugly as fuck, fool. And I was like, damn. No. That's good to listen You better to come man. over here, fool. Huh? Are you a guest staying in there? Nah, fool. I was trying to get a room, and I told him. And he's like, nah, take your ass over there, because people here, we're not ugly like those fools. Those fools are ugly. And I'm like, what? We We don't even have any rooms, I'm sorry. So, we're already full, so... If you want to stay in there, you can stay in there. But thank you for the info. No, nah, fool. I want to go over there with you, fool. Because this fool said you're ugly, dog. Don't let the fool talk shit about you, fool. The fuck, man? Fuck you, fool. Eminem? Hello? Oh, yeah. Hello? Hi. Hi, do you have M&M's? Hi. Hello? No, we don't have, We don't sell M&M's. How are you? Oh, what the fuck is this false advertising shit? Hey, do you have the peanut yeah, M&M's? Have Slim the... Shady works there. Slim Shady work there, buddy. I say M&M's. <laughs> that make up the world's <laughs> smallest Jordan, mountain range. m and Hey George, um, is this Hello. Butt Montana? First, my name's not George, and I think you know it's Butte Montana. Hi. No, we don't have. Uh, we no, don't I don't. Them. I actually have a soccer game there at this new complex, and I'm just having to try and find a room. And you don't got to you don't got to be smart with me. I'm from California. Okay, well you don't have to stay here, so have a good one. Buddy. Fuck you, you fat bitch. Thank you for calling. We're on Open Talk. We're talking about you.
Hi. Hello. Hello. Is this the Prince Albert? Yeah, this is a Ramada from Prince Albert. Do you have Prince Albert in a can? Pardon me? Uh, Prince Albert in a can. It's um, it's a thing at the grocery okay. store. Do you have that? Yeah. No, sir. We don't. Oh, well, if you do, you better let him out. <laughs> you know? Hey, talk to my friend, Prince Albert. Prince Albert is here. He's... Yes. Hi, Dave. So you are a liar, sir. Speaking. How can I help you? Hi, my husband's a liar, but he still wants to get a room with you guys, so I'll let him do that. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. If he up. lies to you, then I'm... it's not my fault. That's my sugar baby. Okay, uh, what can I help you with? Hello? That's my sugar baby. We need a room. Because I'm her daddy. I'm her sugar daddy. So proud of you. Good evening, baby money. How may I help you? Hey, Lasma. Oh, yeah. I just farted, but it was silent. Hello? SBD. Hello? Hello? Silent but deadly? Hello? Hello? Are you there? My friend, he made a toot on the phone. I wasn't expecting it. I didn't hear anything. Did you? Down there, he clogged my ear. I I, I need a Q-tip. I can't hear. Who the hell's Downey? That crazy guy there, the farting man. Made a toot-toot. That sounds like a (laughs) bad remark there. Oh, my goodness. Dixie Cream. Hello? Are you still there? His beard is chafing me. He won't stop. He won't get away from me. I'm going to put back in my teeth here. I got a lot. I'm taking a piss. Hey, he done on this, huh? I had some polydent. I need a little bit of polydent. Oh, God damn! Oh. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, my goodness, Bill. I think got the polydent working. Sure, but they can't hear him. Or, Captain hello? May I help you? Hi, yeah, let me put my wife on. She's got questions. Okay, uh, we don't have any rooms. No, I don't have questions. Okay. Don't, you don't have any rooms. No, we're full. Are you fucking serious? I am very serious. <laughs> We've husband, been booked you know, for, does for a while. Does things for you guys? Maybe we could do a favor? We have no rooms. Nope, Evanham doesn't have any rooms. Should we stay in the room you're sitting in? Um, yeah, can Grandpa stay there at least? Pardon? Can my grandpa stay there at least? You have like an elderly discount. We don't have any rooms, period. Can I come? Can I come stay with you at your house? Here, you talk to grandpa. Sound like a good place to stay in a hotel. I'm sorry, we do not have any rooms to rent. We are completely full. Well, can I come stay with you at your house in your room? Crispy, welcome back. Yes, is Crispy there? Is Crispy there? You called the hotel, sir. Yes, there's a girl named Crispy staying there. Uh, I can't tell you about a customer staying here. It's against our policy. She's in a room. 
She's Sorry? in a room and we need to get a hold of her. She's in a room and we need to get a hold of her. We paid her two hundred dollars to come play with her balls. And tickle our set. No, yeah, I can't disclose any information about uh, our customers staying here. Oh, she's right here. Her, she's right here. Here she is. I'm gonna put her on the phone. Chris, we... Hi. I'm hello? here. Hello. Yeah. Hello. So I have I have an order here for uh you you um ordered a service through our escort services. You specifically asked for a ladyboy to come and motor pilot your bat wings. No, we did not do anything like we did not order any service like that. You, you ordered a like, ladyboy. You don't like to motor pilot the bat wings. We did not order any service like that. I'm so sorry about that. You missed on you, you missed. ordered it. Yes, you did. I heard you. Did, did you shave, though? Stop lying, buddy. Hi, thanks for calling the Cobblestone of Newton, Illinois. This is Mark. How can I help you? Mark, Hi, you're just a guy I need to speak to. Uh, you think so, huh? Hello? Hi. Well, yeah, you're the person that talked to Crispy. Uh, she said you ordered a lady boy. I ordered a what? She's here. I'll let you talk to her. She's the one handling it. But I guess you called her and ordered a lady boy to come entertain you for a little bit. She's right here. I'll go ahead and pass her the phone. <laughs> Hi, I'm the lady boy. Uh huh. Yeah. So I hear you want me to draw eyes on your pee pee and go me 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 me. <laughs> oh, is that what you'll do? Really? What will it cost? Yeah. Um, uh, it'll cost like uh one twenty every fifteen minutes. Is that per person? And then and we'll just play we'll just play puppet with your pee pee and I'll just I'll just like make it cost, you know, by squeezing it a little is that- bit. And really, stretching is that, it, stretching the is side. That, is that per person, or because I have a couple other people it's, here who wouldn't mind you looking at their PP and grabbing it and going me 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 to it. Um. Oh, okay. Like, how many more people? Um. Well, I got two here, so that's two more penises, and then I've got uh, a couple other in, in the. Uh, and a couple other rooms that might come down if you want to entertain them privately. But would they be willing to me, 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 my pee pee? Will they me, 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 me? You guys got to be willing to do it back at the end of the day. At the, wait, okay, hold on. Let me ask. Hold on one second. So I got this. What? What is it? What is? How is a she lady described? Boy. A lady boy. Okay. So I have a lady boy on the phone here who is uh, who's wondering if she comes in here and. Me, me, me is on your PP if you would be willing to do it to her as well. They say, hell yeah, bring it in. Okay. Um, is there um, any other special request? Uh, uh, is there any really big fat guys? Because what she likes to do is, is motorboat a fat guy's titty. Really? Really? I don't have any of those yeah. around here. Yeah, no. My 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 other talent is I can get a permanent marker and draw a face on your bat wings, and I can make it smile, and I can make it frown. I can make it smile, and I can make it frown. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds good. Who is this? Okay, um, and. Um, For a discount, if you guys all jack off and bust at the same time while looking in each other's eyes, we'll we'll give you about fifteen percent off. But you can't break eye yeah, contact yeah. with each other. Are, are you talking like, like, like a limp biscuit party or? No, not a limp biscuit party. That's where you guys all nut on the biscuit. Right, and then the last one to nut has to eat the biscuit, right? Yes. Yeah, no, I won't do that. Last time we had one of those party milk and had to eat the biscuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. All right. 
I got to go. It, it's, uh, it's been kind of fun playing with you, but I got a business to run here, okay? We'll be there in an hour. Be ready for it. Yeah. yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll be gone down. by no. then. Well, I you better stay there. Stay We're there. talking to we you. Baby. We're going to come find you. I think I'm Motel 6. How can I help you? Yeah, who am I speaking to? This is the Effingham Motel 6. Right, but who am I speaking to directly? I know your name isn't Motel 6, smartass. Nightson, this is Tammy. Tammy is there a man I can speak to because I don't feel comfortable talking to a woman. Um, you can talk to me. I'm here. I'm the only one here. What's up? Well, my wife's mad if I talk to women, so go ahead and talk to my wife. Cat? Sure. Cat? Cat? Crispy? Hold on a second. She's doing her makeup. Hello? Hello? Yes? What yes. Can I, help can you I talk to her, baby? Mm-hmm. You're here. Can I talk to her, baby, now that you're yes. here? Yes. You, you guys you speak to each other. Um, miss, different. can we can we get a room, Missy? Can we get a room for tonight, please? Are you from Jacksonville? Too friendly. Yes. Too okay. friendly. What's that? It, I'm being, being too, too friendly. friendly. I'm sorry. I gotta be mean to you. Can we get a room, damn it? Hello? You heard me. No, you cut out. What did you say? Hello? I said, give me a goddamn room. No, you will not get a room out here talking that way. She said I'm being too nice. I got to be mean to you. I, I don't appreciate the way you're talking to my husband. Okay, well, you if, have to call Monday and talk be, to Karen because she's the manager. If you could be a little more professional. Okay, call and talk to Karen Monday and tell her your complaint. Babe, permission to respond? Respond. Uh, Double Tree by Hilton, how may I help you? Yeah, there's this German guy. He keeps following me around. He won't shut up. Um, no, you will never believe how good the aspirin is for your anus. Did you hear this guy? He meet me in the front, in the parking lot, next to the taco lady. You understand how America is barbaric and they use a paper to wipe their anus, but you could hook up this thing that will spray with water to make you really clean. Thank you for calling Red Roof in Bloomington, Illinois. How can I help you? Hi, Hello. Ben Chode. How are you? Yeah, good. How are you, sir? Um, Me and my German friend want to go in and have sex with her mother. Sorry? Me and my German friend, we want to go in and have sex with your sister. Oh, really? Yeah, okay, sir. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Is it going to let us fuck his mom or his, like, sister or someone in his family? Yeah, same like you, how you um, offer to other person, same like that, sir. No, no, it's not same, because me and your sister are in the bathroom right now. No, sir, I don't do all those things. You have a culture of doing like that. What? Thank you for calling up. Ethan Arden. Okay. This is Roman speaking. How may I help you? Hey, um, you guys do me a favor. It's my dad's birthday, and he's there by himself right now. Well, he's not by himself. He's either with my my mom, or he huh? could be by himself waiting for us. We want to surprise him before we get there. All right, how do you want to surprise him? Can you, like, just go up and just take him a brownie and sing him happy birthday? Like, uh, or what do you guys do for birthdays? 
Yeah, it's a brownie bite. We give him a dessert. Um, what does he look like? Is he waiting in the lobby or is he at a table already? I I I don't know. He could be in the lobby or he could be at a table. He's like an older right. Hispanic guy. He's got probably a button up on. All right. Kind of like uh, blackish yeah. grayish hair. Okay, let me go look and I'll put you on hold. Don't hey, don't go don't no no don't don't go ask him his name. I don't won't. I won't. I'm just gonna look around. He's a he's, oh. Okay, and then tell me what he's wearing. He said what? Tell me like I'll uh, probably. Well, cause he's sneaky. Like if somebody goes up and asks, "Hey, are you this person?" He'll like he'll he'll get like shy or he won't respond. He'll go, "Oh, I don't know what you're talking about." So we just need okay, a, okay. we just need to bring him the brownie bite and sing him happy birthday. All right, Can you, one second. Tell me what um. Okay. Your call is important to us. Please continue to hold. We will answer your call as soon as possible. Hello. Hi, this is Joy from the Hanson and Butte, Montana. I'm calling you back. Hello. Hello. Can you speak a little louder, please? Yes, this is Joy Miller. I'm from the Hanson and Butte, Montana. I'm just calling you back. Who's calling? You called me. This is the Hampton Inn in Butte, Montana. Let, let me press the button. Okay. All right. Well, I was just making sure you didn't need anything. J- just a minute now. Huh? Ma'am, you called the hotel in Butte, Montana? All right. I can hear you a little better. All right. You called me? All right. Now, who are you? It's the Butte Inn in Butte, Montana. Are you? This is Byron. Hi, this is Lana calling with Reliant Plumbing. Is there a point to this? I saw that we missed a call from you last night. Is there anything you need help with? How should I know? Milkman, can you take us out of here? I need to uh, make the computer stop melting me. That would be nice. <laughs> oh, my lord. Poor Axel. Got the 500 million degree computers there. The daggone video cards and everything working on overtime. But, okay, yeah. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for joining us here in tonight's episode of the Madhouse Militia. That's right. We had a good old time. All my family and all of our friends right here laughing together and sharing good times before the big holiday weekend. So if we don't talk to you again tomorrow night, I want to wish everybody a happy Memorial Day. Lots of good eats, lots of good things out there, picnics, cookouts, all that good stuff. I'm not going to have any. So if you have some, think about me, think about Daddy Fat Sacks, think about Axel and all of us and have a bite for us. You know, because our Madhouse Militia family is on a journey together. And together, we can overcome all adversity, pain and fear, and anger in our world. And we're learning that laughing at our problems melts away the grief of our troubles. As we find that our strength is the power of laughter, kindness, and joy. And we're learning that our differences are trivial. And that we're all really alike. More alike than different, guys. And that we're healing our collective souls with the magical power of laughter. That's right. Right here on the Madhouse Militia Show every week, Friday at 10 p.m. Right here in your earballs. Madhouse Militia is saving the world one laugh at a time. And we're dropping the dimes. We all ask you to give us a time and bring a friend or better yet, bring an enemy. Because they're going to be welcome right here in the Madhouse Militia Show. We got playing room for all the kids who know how to play together nicely and having a good time. That's right. Could not do it without all of you, our dear listeners and friends right here in our family and the gathering. Thank you so much for showing up. And my dear brother Axel helped me carry this gigantic torch forward there, shedding light on the world and love to the world. That's right. The Hermano inspired me and I inspired him. And we're carrying on the tradition from more than 15 years ago. And we're still spreading the good word. The man with the golden headphones up in heaven. God bless you, brother. And thank you for helping me on this mission. And thank you, dear... <laughs> oh, 
oh, excuse me, wasted machine. He given us a stage, giving us a back moon right here to present this wonderful conglomeration of friends and laughs. Thank you so much, dear wasted. Thank you everybody for tuning in. 